Yes. Okay, I'm ready. Good morning. <clears throat> Father God, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, we come to you this morning, God, just to say thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for being God all by yourself. You are Alpha and you are Omega, oh God. Father God, you are a way maker, you are a provider, deliverer, a healer, Lord God, but more than that, you are our savior. So Father God, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Today, we're gonna call on you this morning, God. We're gonna call on Jehovah Shalom. You are a God of peace, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that anything that we ask in your name is ours for the asking. So Father God, we pray for peace, oh God. Peace has to start in our hearts, oh God. So creating us clean hearts, oh God, and renew right spirit within us. Help us, God, to continue to be the men and women of God that you've called us out to be, God, in such a time as this. Father God, we you said in your word, God, that we have not because we ask not. So, Father God, we're asking you, oh God, to give us peace, oh God. Peace in our hearts, peace in our minds, peace in our world, oh God, peace in our country, peace in our nation, oh God, peace in our states and peace in our communities and our neighborhoods, oh God, peace in our homes, oh God. You said, oh God, that we should lean not toward our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge you and you shall direct our paths, oh God. Lead us and guide us in the way of peace peace in the way of righteousness, oh God. We thank you, oh God, because when the Lord says peace, there shall be peace, oh God. Lord God, we're crying out to you this morning, oh God. Yes, we got the verdict that we all wanted, oh God, but Father God, as Minister Yvette mentioned, last, mentioned earlier today, oh God, that there was a shooting of a young lady, oh God, in Ohio. We don't know the circumstances, oh God. We just know that there was maybe, have, may have been another senseless killing, oh God. Father God, there was no reason for anybody to have to kill anybody when you've been trained, oh God, to how to deal with situations like this, oh God. Father God, I don't know why they have to kill people, why they just can't, you know, do something to shoot them in the leg to knock them down or something. But Lord, Lord God, the world is in need of so much peace, oh God. Father God, if we don't get peace, oh God, if you don't have peace, we don't have anything, oh God. So Father God, we can have everything in the world. We can have all the materialistic things, but if we don't have your, your peace, God, we have nothing. So Lord, we come to you, oh God, collectively, individually, oh God, asking you, oh God, that the spirit of peace and salvation would reign throughout our nation. Have your way, be glorified, God, do only what you can do. And we thank you in advance for the peace that you're gonna bestow upon all of us, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for who you are. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Father, we come this day thanking you because it is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, today we ask for wisdom. We ask for godly wisdom in every aspect of our life, Father God. We can't do the things we can do without you, Lord. It's because of you, Lord, that we have new mercies each and every morning, and we thank you for that. But Father, we know we're not worthy, but we stand asking for wisdom because we know that we don't know which way to go, Father God. The word says that wouldn't we would do right, evil is present at every turn, Lord. We thank you for the blessings of yesterday, Lord, for the peace that came through a decision that was done, Father God. But now we're asking for wisdom and guidance, Lord. Wisdom, not only for everything we do in our daily lives, Lord, but also wisdom in decisions that are made about the places in this world, Lord. You see it that we wrestle not against flesh or blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness and high places, Lord. But you also told us to put on the whole armor of God, Lord. Give us the wisdom, Lord, to study, to show ourselves approved. Work people who need of not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth to stay true to you, Lord, in prayer and in our faith and guide us, Lord. Give us that wisdom and that courage and that strength, Lord, to follow whatever you put down for us to do, Father God. We ask, Lord, because we know that the book of James tells us that if we lack wisdom to ask for it, and here we stand, Lord, united together. You said where two or three are together in your name, Lord, are gathered together, you'd be in the midst. So we know we can't do it without you, Lord. So we're asking, Father. We're asking. We're seeking. We're trying to get a breakthrough in our prayers, Lord. We're trying to understand exactly what you would have us to do. Each day before we begin, Lord, the first thing we need to do is get up, Lord, and thank you for being here, and thank you for the day, Lord. But then we should ask, Lord, what is it that you would have us to do? 
Father God, continue to give wisdom to our leaders in this country as they make major decisions about the laws, Lord. Wisdom to those who are uh, imparting sentences on people's lives, Lord. Wisdom, Father God, to our church leaders and uh, our men and women of faith who lead us each and every day, Lord. You give them inspiration and we continue to ask that you liberally give them wisdom. Father, but as we go about our day, help us to ask you throughout the day, what is it that you would have us to do before we make any decisions in our lives, before we do anything, Father God, that is not of God and not of you, Lord. Give us that wisdom. Help us to trust you, Lord, with all our hearts and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, Lord, we want to acknowledge you because we know you will direct our path. So as we continue, Lord, together, together, continue to seek your face, Lord, continue to give us that wisdom that we need and the courage, Lord, to hear from you and to know that, Lord, we know you can, but we just pray you will. In Jesus' name, we just thank you this morning. Amen, amen, and thank God. And so, Father, we uh, lift up prayer requests that not only in the chat, but Father, those, Lord God, that are here on Zoom, Lord God, Father, those that are on Facebook this morning. God, we pray, Father God, that for Sandra and for her son, Lord God, that you would give favor in his test. God, we know that you're a healer, God. We know, Lord God, that you are a provider. And so for both those things, God, we know, God, that you are characteristically there to help us. And so, Father, I pray, Lord God, that you would be with him and that you would sit among him and that you would give him what he stands in need of, even before he's able to ask. We lift up, Father, Miss Betty, to you, God, for the flexibility in her knees so that she can walk without assistance, God, that she'll be able to walk, Father God, with joy, that you would restore her, Father God, to the place that she would want to be comfortable, God. And we just thank you, God, for a successful surgery and how you're going to allow her body to function, Father, with this new uh, apparatus, with this new ability to give her more time and more quality of life. Father, we thank you, Heavenly Father God, for peace of mind, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you will give that to Laurel and to all those, Lord God, who stand in need. You are the God of peace, and you said that you would keep us in perfect peace when our mind is stayed upon you because we trust in you. We thank you, Lord God, for healing, Father, that you're able to heal from every condition, every disease, even beyond COVID, you're able to heal from hypertension and cancer, from diabetes and all complications that would cause people to be sick. Father God, that will cause people to have bleeds, God, that will cause people Father, who are suffering in their bodies, you know the pain that we experience. And you said that you are Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals us. And so God, send your word to heal our diseases. God, we lift up a lean to you, God. We pray, Father God, that you will give him favor, Lord God, favor even with the judge, just as you have given those, Lord God, who have resources of massed Father favor. I know, God, that you can give that favor to him. God, you can allow the judge to see the situation, see his potential, and give him favor, God. We pray, God, that when he is given favor, God, that he will turn his face to you. And Father God, that he would be used of you, God, and that you would get glory and honor out of of his life and everything that he does, God, to the glory of God. We also pray, Father God, for those, Lord God, who need to be focused, God. Father, those, Lord God, who need to have continued focus, God. Father, we want to see what you see in the earth, God. We want to go where you're going. We want to cooperate with your will, Father, even as we have seen you do some things that we've asked you to do, God. We want to be 
faithful in Father uh, following along with that and continuing to pray. We don't want to stop praying because mm. we got one answer. We want to continue to pray because you are the answer, God. And thank you, Lord God, for Kim's mom and Father, how you will continue to be with her and that you would bless her and that you would help her for Miss Liberta Williams, Lord God, in hospice, God. We pray, Father God, for her as well. Father, for uh, Barbara Collins, God, and Father, for all those who stand in need uh, in sickness, God, you're able to do it. Father, those, Lord God, who are out here on Facebook, who have loss and bereavement, Lord God, those, Lord God, who are suffering, Lord God, in many ways, financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, God, you're able to meet all of those needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, we pray for your wisdom, for your knowledge, for your peace in Jesus' name. Father, we love you so much and we praise you, oh God, and we just can't thank you nor give you enough praise nor honor you enough, oh God, for who you are. You're so holy, you're so wise, and you're so awesome, God. We know that we can find no other word to describe you but holy, God, because that's who you are. You are a holy God. And God, as we come before your presence right now, we want you to just uh, create enough of a clean heart and renew in us the right spirit that we might uh, praise you and that we might even pray to you, right, God. Teach us how to pray and what to pray for, oh God, because on every turn, there's so many things, Father God, that we don't understand or we don't uh, know about, oh God, but we know that you know all things, God. And Father God, when we look at insight, God, we know that we need insight in every area of our lives, God. And we just pray, oh God, that you would give us a sound mind, God, in order to be able to understand what it is uh, that you would have us to do, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you would even give us an insight into forgiveness, oh God. Father God, it's so easy to say the word forgiveness, God, but true, true forgiveness, God, is not an easy thing, God. So we pray, oh God, that you would give us a spirit of insight to be able to uh have a forgiving spirit, Lord God, because we know that it, you said in your word, God, if we don't forgive others, you won't forgive us, Lord God. And we pray, oh God, that you would just help us to understand that we have to love people and we have to love humanity, oh God. And Father God, that's not always easy to do, God, but you can give us that spirit and the insight to love. Father God, we also pray, Father God, that you would give us a, a spirit of understanding, God. Oh God, because it's so easy, Father God, to fall short, God, of our own understanding, God, because we know, Father God, we have our own lives and our own um, mindsets, and Father God, we have our own life, oh, Father God, that have that have uh, shaped our understanding, that have shaped our minds, God, but we want you, Father God, to uh, give us that insight and to shape our minds, God, and we know the only way we can do that is through your word, God, so we pray, oh God, that you would bless us, Father God, to to uh, read your word, study your word, God. And then, Father God, we know that true and, and uh, true insight will come from you, oh God. And we, Father God, even understand that uh, sometimes we want to ask you, Father God, for wisdom and then doubt, God. Just like Gideon, Father God, we pray, oh God, that he wanted to, uh, he wanted to pray to you, God, but he wanted to be sure uh, of what you were uh, wanting him to do, oh Father God. Father God, we know we don't want to be that, we don't want to have that spirit of, of unbelief, Father God. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you just help our unbelief, Father God. Oh God, and that spirit of doubt, God. But we want that you that we want you to give us, oh Father God, of your spirit of understanding, God, and insight, God. And then, Father God, we thank you for uh, uh, another example, Job, Father God, who uh, was perplexed on every. Uh, in and in every area, Father God, but still he kept the faith, God. Oh, Father God, we pray that you just give us the insight that we need, Father God, to do your will, God. Oh, Father God, we want you, Father God, to lead us in every area of our, our life, Father God. Oh, Father God, we want to be able to do your will. And the only way we can do your will, God, is that you give us the insight and the understanding, Father God, that we need. Because, Father God, you can take all situations and we can look at so many situations in our lives, Father God, and we can always muddy them up, Father God, with the with the cares of this world, Father God. But we know that you, Father God, can 
untangle this uh, this web of, of uh, deceitful thinking and thoughts and and the news that's that's coming at us, Father God. That's trying to shape our insights, God. We want you to shape our insights in our mind, Father God, because Lord God, we know that except that you give us the understanding, God, we can easily uh, go astray and follow the wrong turn, Lord God. So we pray right now, Father God, for everyone that's on this call, Father God, that you will give us insight, understanding, and a spirit, oh God, a loving spirit and a, a loving heart, Father God, that will seek after your righteousness and seek after your understanding, God, because we know, Father God, we don't, we don't know anything, Father God, and we know that everything belongs to you, God. You made this world, Father God. You made us, Father God, and we thank you right now, Father God, for life itself, God. We thank you for the air we breathe, God, and we don't want to take anything for granted, God. So that's why we're looking for asking for insight, Father God, and understanding, Father God, that we might walk in your spirit, God, and that we might talk in your spirit, and we might Tell others, Father God, and we might be about your business, Father God, of acknowledging you, uh, serving you, oh God, and also serving humanity as well, Father God. Oh, Father God, we, we want to be like Paul, Father God. We want to make sure, God, that we are doing your will, Father God. Oh, Lord God, and when the light came on in his life, Father God, when you uh, shine down, he fell to his knees, Father God. Oh, Father God, and we know that we don't want to kick against the you, oh God. Oh, Father God, we praise you, we adore you, and we thank you, Father God, for the insight that you've already given us, Father God. We don't want to even take that for granted, God, but we know, Father God, that you have all insight, all understanding, all knowing, God. You are all knowing, God, and we just are so excited, and we get so excited about just thinking about you and your greatness and your holiness, God. Oh, Father God, and your understanding. Oh, God, and we just pray, God, that you would just give us a portion of it, oh, God. Oh, Father God, and we know that uh, we, we're we just so grateful and we're just so thankful, God. But when you uh, make things clear to us, God, it's just like the light popped on, God. And we have had, we have experienced it so many times in our lives, God, that, that you have allowed us to see things and understand things, God, that we can't realize that how did we see and how were we so uh, messed up in our thinking, Father God. Oh, God, but when you turn it on, God, and uh, allow us to see and give us the inside, God, oh, God, it is so wonderful and so exciting and, and so uh, great, God. And we're just right now praising you and thanking you for the insight that you've given us over the past, God. And we pray that you continue to give us insight, God, because we always, no matter what situations come, we always look at it, God, and we always want to look at it with a slant uh, on our thinking and the way we think things should be, God. But we want to just depend on your spirit to give us the insight that we need, God, because we so often want to draw from our own self-experiences, Lord God, and we know, Father God, we can always come short and fall short of giving you the honor and praising you, oh God, the way you should be praised and the way you, we should look at you, oh God, and life and other people, Father God. We pray, God, that you would just give us that insight, God. We love you so much. We adore you. And we're just excited, God, for what you're going to do in our lives. And Father God, we don't know. We know, Father God, that what we saw with our own eyes, God, for nine minutes and 25 seconds, and seconds, God, we know, Father God, what we see, and we understand that, God, and we thank you, Father God, that we can even trust in our own eyes, Father God. That was uh, something you gave us, Father God, and it was all you, Father God, that even allowed that to happen, God, and for those uh, for those videos to be taken, God, you were the one, Father God, in control of that. You were the one that put those people in that place at that time, God, and we pray, oh God, that you just continue to bless lead God and direct us, your people, God, that we can pray, that we can give you honor, and that we can work, Father God, and touch the lives of others, Father God. We need that insight, God. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. Holy God, you are just holy. We love Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We magnify you. We glorify you. Continue to praise you. Word. The word. We Thank you, 